Question 1. What was the primary purpose of the Magna Carta signed in 1215? A. To establish the Church of England. B. To grant universal suffrage. C. To limit the powers of the king and protect the rights of the nobility. D. To declare independence from France. Answer. C. To limit the powers of the king and protect the rights of the nobility. The Magna Carta was a landmark document that established the principle that everyone, including the king, was subject to the law. Question 2. Detail the significance of the Battle of Hastings in 1066. A. It resulted in Viking control over England. B. It marked the beginning of the Plantagenet dynasty. C. It led to the Norman conquest of England. T. It was the final battle of the English Civil War. Answer. C. It led to the Norman conquest of England. The Battle of Hastings in 1066 was significant because it resulted in the defeat of King Harold E. by William the Conqueror, leading to Norman control over England. Question 3. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? A. Queen Victoria B. Margaret Thatcher C. Theresa May D. Elizabeth II Answer B. Margaret Thatcher Margaret Thatcher became the first female Prime Minister of the UK in 1979, serving until 1990. Question 4. Explain the historical context of the Elizabethan religious settlement. A. It was an agreement to adopt Buddhism as the state religion. B. It restored Roman Catholicism after Henry VIII's reign. C. It aimed to define the relationship between the Church of England and the monarchy. D. It established Protestantism as the national faith. Answer. C. It aimed to define the relationship between the Church of England and the monarchy. The Elizabethan religious settlement was a series of laws passed during the reign of Elizabeth, the first that established the Church of England's independence from Rome and its compromise between Catholicism and Protestantism. Question 5. What were the main causes and outcomes of the English Civil War? A. Disputes over maritime law increased naval dominance. B. Religious differences, the establishment of the Church of England. C. Power struggle between the monarchy and parliament, the execution of Charles I. D. Economic disagreements, the introduction of the pound sterling. Answer. C. Power struggle between the monarchy and parliament, the execution of Charles I. The English Civil War was primarily fueled by political power struggles between the monarchy and parliament, leading to the temporary overthrow of the monarchy and the execution of Charles I. Question 6. Describe the impact of the Great Plague of London in 1665. A. It led to the British Empire's expansion. B. It resulted in significant population loss and social upheaval. C. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. D. It had no significant impact on London. Answer. B. It resulted in significant population loss and social upheaval. The Great Plague of London in 1665 was a devastating outbreak of bubonic plague that caused massive mortality and affected the social structure of London. Question 7. What led to the formation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1801? A. The signing of the Magna Carta. B. The Acts of Union 1800. C. The victory in the Battle of Waterloo. D. The end of the War of the Roses. Answer. B. The Acts of Union 1800. The Acts of Union 1800 were statutes that merged the Kingdom of Great Britain and the Kingdom of Ireland 
into a single state, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Question 8. Outline the key factors that contributed to the Industrial Revolution in Britain. A. The discovery of the New World. B. Advances in agricultural practices, technology, and access to capital. C. The signing of the Treaty of Versailles. D. The decline of the British monarchy. Answer. B. Advances in agricultural practices, technology, and access to capital. The Industrial Revolution was driven by improvements in agricultural productivity, technological innovations, and the availability of capital for investment. Question 9. How did the Acts of Union 1707 and 1800 shape the structure of the UK? A. By establishing the British Commonwealth. B. By uniting England, Scotland, and later Ireland under a single government. C. By creating a federal system. D. By dividing the UK into independent regions. Answer. B. By uniting England, Scotland, and later Ireland under a single government. The Acts of Union first united England and Scotland into Great Britain and later incorporated Ireland, shaping the political structure of the UK. Question 10. What role did Britain play in the abolition of the slave trade in 1807? A. It was the last European country to abolish the slave trade. B. It played a leading role by passing the Slave Trade Act. C. It opposed abolition efforts internationally. D. It had no involvement in the abolition of the slave trade. Answer. B. It played a leading role by passing the Slave Trade Act. Britain was a key player in the abolition of the slave trade, with the Slave Trade Act of 1807 making it illegal to engage in the trade within the British Empire. Question 11. Discuss the significance of the Reform Acts passed in the 19th century. A. They abolished the monarchy and established a republic. B. They introduced compulsory education for all children. C. They expanded the electoral franchise and reformed parliamentary representation. D. They mandated the separation of church and state. Answer. C. They expanded the electoral franchise and reformed parliamentary representation. The Reform Acts significantly widened the voting base in Britain and addressed disparities in parliamentary representation, marking key steps towards modern democratic governance. Question 12. What were the main objectives of the Chartists' movement? A. To promote free trade and abolish tariffs. B. To secure universal male suffrage and other parliamentary reforms. C. To reinstate the feudal system. D. To establish a national church. Answer. B. To secure universal male suffrage and other parliamentary reforms. The Chartists aimed for significant democratic reforms including the right to vote for all men, payment for members of parliament, and the secret ballot, among others. Question 13. How did the Victorian era influence global British empire expansion? A. It saw a retreat from imperial ambitions. B. It was a period of significant cultural and scientific regression. C. It marked a peak in British colonial expansion and influence worldwide. D. It focused solely on domestic reforms, ignoring overseas territories. Answer. C. It marked a peak in British colonial expansion and influence worldwide. The Victorian era was characterized by industrial growth, technological advancement, and an expansionist foreign policy leading to the broad reach of the British Empire. Question 14. Detail the causes and effects of the Irish Famine, 1845 to 1852. A. Caused by overpopulation, led to widespread urbanization in Ireland. B. Resulted from a trade embargo, 
increased Ireland's economic independence. C. Stemmed from potato blight, caused mass starvation, emigration, and population decline. D. Triggered by political reforms, resulted in the unification of Ireland and Britain. Answer. C. Stemmed from potato blight, caused mass starvation, emigration, and population decline. The Great Famine had devastating effects on Ireland, leading to significant mortality and a mass exodus of Irish people. Question 15. Explain the significance of the Battle of Britain in 1940. A. It was a key naval battle that ensured British dominance of the seas. B. A crucial air campaign that prevented a German invasion of Britain. C. It marked the beginning of British involvement in World War II. D. A significant loss that led to British withdrawal from Europe. Answer. B. A crucial air campaign that prevented a German invasion of Britain. The Battle of Britain was a pivotal moment in World War II, demonstrating the resilience of the British RAF and thwarting Hitler's plans for invasion. Question 16. What was the Beveridge Report and how did it impact post-war Britain? A. A plan for post-war economic development led to rapid industrialization. B. A proposal for comprehensive social insurance laid the foundations for the welfare state. C. A military strategy report influenced Britain's Cold War policies. D. An educational reform proposal introduced the modern university system. Answer. B. A proposal for comprehensive social insurance laid the foundations for the welfare state. The Beveridge Report proposed widespread social reforms, leading to the establishment of the welfare state and the NHS. Question 17. How did the Suez Crisis of 1956 affect Britain's global standing? A. It enhanced Britain's position as a superpower. B. It had no significant impact on international relations. C. It marked a decline in British imperial power and influence. D. It led to an increase in Britain's territorial holdings. Answer. C. It marked a decline in British imperial power and influence. The Suez Crisis exposed the limitations of Britain's post-war power, signalling a shift in the global balance and diminishing its standing as a world power. Question 18. Describe the process and impact of decolonization on the British Empire post-World War II. A. It led to an expansion of the British Empire through new colonies. B. Decolonization was a peaceful transition that strengthened economic ties. C. It resulted in the rapid dissolution of the empire and the independence of former colonies. D. It had minimal impact with most colonies choosing to remain under British control? Answer. C. It resulted in the rapid dissolution of the empire and the independence of former colonies. The post-war period saw an accelerated process of decolonization, significantly reducing the size of the British empire and leading to the establishment of independent nation-states. Question 19. What were the implications of the UK joining the European Economic Community in 1973? A. It isolated the UK from global trade networks. B. It marked the UK's withdrawal from all international alliances. C. It signalled a shift towards European integration, affecting trade and political relations. D. It led to the immediate adoption of the euro as the national currency. Answer C. It signalled a shift towards European integration, affecting trade and political relations. Joining the EEC was a significant move that deepened the UK's economic and political ties with Europe, although it also sparked debates about sovereignty and European integration. Question 20. Discuss the outcomes of the Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland. A. 
It led to the immediate unification of Ireland. B. It resulted in the continuation of the Troubles with no significant changes. C. It established a power-sharing government and ended most of the violence. D. It increased tensions between different communities in Northern Ireland. Answer. C. It established a power-sharing government and ended most of the violence. The Good Friday Agreement of 1998 was a landmark peace deal that significantly reduced conflict in Northern Ireland and laid the groundwork for political cooperation between unionist and nationalist factions. Question 21. What was the impact of the Thatcherite reforms on the UK economy and society? A. Led to the nationalisation of key industries. B resulted in significant deregulation, privatization, and changes in labor relations. C. Introduced the euro as the UK's currency. D. Decreased the role of the financial sector in the economy. Answer. B. Resulted in significant deregulation, privatization, and changes in labor relations. The Thatcherite reforms transformed the UK economy and society by emphasising free market policies, reducing the state's role in the economy, and altering the landscape of industrial relations. Question 22. How has the concept of British identity evolved in the 21st century? A. It has become more homogenous and less diverse. B. It remains unchanged from the Victorian era. C it has broadened to reflect a more diverse and multicultural society. D. It has reverted to pre-industrial revolution ideals. Answer. C. It has broadened to reflect a more diverse and multicultural society. In the 21st century, the concept of British identity has evolved to encompass a wider range of cultures, ethnicities and backgrounds reflecting the UK's increasingly diverse population. Question 23. What are the legal and social implications of the Human Rights Act 1998? A. It restricted individual freedoms to increase national security. B. It incorporated the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law, strengthening the protection of individual rights. C. It abolished all previous UK human rights legislation. D. It established the UK as a republic. Answer. B. It incorporated the European Convention on Human Rights into UK law, strengthening the protection of individual rights. The Human Rights Act 1998 marked a significant step in the protection of human rights in the UK making it easier for individuals to challenge actions that infringe on their rights. Question 24. Detailed the significance of the Scotland Act 1998 and its impact on the UK. A. It dissolved the Scottish Parliament. B. It established devolved governance in Scotland, creating the Scottish Parliament with legislative powers in certain areas. C. It declared Scottish independence from the UK. D. It merged Scotland and England into a single entity without devolution. Answer. B. It established devolved governance in Scotland, creating the Scottish Parliament with legislative powers in certain areas. The Scotland Act 1998 was a landmark in UK constitutional law providing Scotland with a degree of autonomy and influencing the political landscape of the UK. Question 25. Explain the role and functions of the British Parliament. A. Solely to advise the monarch on ceremonial matters. B. To govern the colonies of the British Empire. C. To legislate, scrutinise government actions and represent the UK's citizens. D to implement the decisions of the European Union in the UK. Answer. C. To legislate, scrutinise government actions and represent the UK's citizens. The British Parliament plays a central role in UK governance.
with responsibilities including making laws, examining government policies and administration, and representing public interests. Question 26. What led to the UK's decision to leave the European Union in 2016? A. A decision by the Parliament to revoke the European Communities Act 1972 unilaterally. B. A national referendum where a majority voted in favour of leaving the EU. C. An executive order by the Prime Minister. D. A mandate from the United Nations. Answer. B. A national referendum where a majority voted in favour of leaving the EU. The UK's decision to leave the European Union, known as Brexit, was made following a 2016 referendum that resulted in a majority of voters choosing to exit. Question 27. Discuss the historical significance of the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. A. It marked the end of the Viking invasions of Britain. B. It was a decisive naval victory against Napoleon's fleets, ensuring British naval supremacy. C. It led directly to the independence of the American colonies. D. It resulted in Britain adopting a policy of splendid isolation. Answer. B. It was a decisive naval victory against Napoleon's fleets, ensuring British naval supremacy. The Battle of Trafalgar is historically significant for establishing British naval dominance, which played a crucial role in the Napoleonic Wars and shaped international relations for years to come. Question 28. How did the Enclosure Acts affect rural life and agriculture in Britain? A. They increased the common lands available to peasants. B. They led to the commercialization and modernization of agriculture that also caused social displacement. C. They banned all forms of agriculture. D. They resulted in a decrease in agricultural production. Answer. B. They led to the commercialization and modernization of agriculture, but also caused social displacement. The Enclosure Acts transformed British agriculture by consolidating land into larger farms, leading to increased efficiency, but also displacing many rural inhabitants. Question 29. What is the significance of the Stonehenge site? A. It was the location of the signing of the Magna Carta. B. It served as a parliamentary building in medieval England. C. It is a prehistoric monument believed to have been used for ceremonial or religious purposes. T. It was a fortress used by the Romans during their occupation of Britain. Answer. C. It is a prehistoric monument believed to have been used for ceremonial or religious purposes. Stonehenge is one of the most famous prehistoric sites in the world, notable for its complex structure and the mystery surrounding its original purpose. Question 30. Describe the contributions of the British Empire to the development of modern science and technology. A. The Empire focused exclusively on military advancements, ignoring science and technology. B. It contributed significantly through figures like Newton and Darwin and institutions like the Royal Society. C. It made no notable contributions to science and technology. D. It suppressed scientific discoveries that contradicted official state religion. Answer. B. It contributed significantly through figures like Newton and Darwin and institutions like the Royal Society. The British Empire played a crucial role in the development of modern science and technology, with British scientists making groundbreaking discoveries and innovations that have a global impact. Question 31. How did World War I and World War II reshape the UK's international relations? A. They led to the UK's isolation from European affairs. B. They resulted in the UK losing its status as a world power. C. The war strengthened the UK's global dominance and expanded its empire. D. 
They transformed the UK's role on the world stage, leading to decolonization and a focus on international cooperation. Answer D. They transformed the UK's role on the world stage, leading to decolonization and a focus on international cooperation. The world wars had profound effects on the UK's international relations, leading to a revaluation of its empire and a greater emphasis on international institutions like the United Nations. Question 32. What is the Commonwealth and what role does the UK play within it? A. A British-led military alliance. B. An economic union similar to the European Union. C. A political organization dedicated to the promotion of democracy and human rights, with the UK as a founding member. D. A sporting association hosting the Commonwealth Games. Answer. C. A political organization dedicated to the promotion of democracy and human rights, with the UK as a founding member. The Commonwealth is an organization of 54 member states that are mostly former territories of the British Empire, focusing on development, democracy and cultural exchange, with the UK playing a key leadership role. Question 33. Explain the impact of digital technology on the UK's economy and culture. A. It has led to the decline of the creative industries. B. Digital technology has been rejected by the UK's traditional economy. C. It has significantly transformed communication, commerce and access to information, influencing cultural production and economic innovation. D. It resulted in widespread technological unemployment with no positive effects. Answer. C. It has significantly transformed communication, commerce and access to information, influencing cultural production and economic innovation. The advent of digital technology has had a profound effect on the UK, driving economic growth, changing the cultural landscape, and altering how individuals and businesses interact. Question 34. Detail the origins and impact of the National Health Service, NHS, established in 1948. A. It originated from the Beveridge Report, creating a comprehensive, publicly funded healthcare system. B. It was established to privatise healthcare in the UK. C. The NHS was a result of American investment in the UK's healthcare sector. D. It was founded to serve only the military and their families. Answer. A. It originated from the Beveridge Report, creating a comprehensive, publicly funded healthcare system. The NHS was a landmark social reform that ensured healthcare was available to all UK residents fundamentally changing the provision of healthcare in the country. Question 35. How did the gunpowder plot of 1605 influence British politics and society? A. It led to the establishment of the Church of England. B. The plot's failure reinforced the power of the monarchy and led to stricter laws against Catholics. C. It resulted in the unification of England and Scotland. D. It initiated the Industrial Revolution. Answer. B. The plot's failure reinforced the power of the monarchy and led to stricter laws against Catholics. The gunpowder plot aimed to assassinate King James I and restore a Catholic monarch, but its failure strengthened the monarchy and resulted in increased persecution of Catholics. Question 36. What factors contributed to the rise of British punk culture in the 1970s? A. Economic prosperity and the popularity of disco music. B. A reaction to social and economic challenges, expressing youth discontent and anti-establishment sentiments. C. Government policies promoting punk music. D. The influence of American country music. Answer. B a reaction to social and economic challenges, expressing youth discontent and anti-establishment sentiments. 
British punk culture emerged as a counter-cultural movement that challenged societal norms, fueled by economic hardship and the sense of disillusionment among the youth. Question 37. Discuss the legal and societal changes following the Sexual Offences Act 1967. A. It led to the immediate acceptance of LGBTQ plus rights in all aspects of British society. B. The Act decriminalized homosexual acts in private between two men aged 21 or over in England and Wales, marking a significant step towards LGBTQ plus rights. C. It banned all forms of non-traditional sexual relationships. D. The Act focused on increasing penalties for homosexual acts. Answer. B. The Act decriminalized homosexual acts in private between two men aged 21 or over in England and Wales, marking a significant step towards LGBTQ plus rights. This legislative change was a landmark moment in the fight for equality, although full legal and societal acceptance continued to evolve over subsequent decades. Question 38. What role did Britain play in the creation of the United Nations? A. Britain was opposed to the formation of the United Nations. B. It played a key role, being one of the original founding members and hosting the first meeting. C. Britain joined the UN only after it was established by other countries. D. The UN was entirely a British idea, but was established without British involvement. Answer. B. It played a key role, being one of the original founding members and hosting the first meeting. The UK was instrumental in the establishment of the United Nations actively participating in its founding conference and shaping its charter, reflecting its commitment to international peace and cooperation. Question 39. How has immigration shaped modern British society? A. It has had minimal impact on British society. B. Immigration has played a significant role in diversifying and enriching British culture, economy and society. C. It led to the isolation of the UK from global cultural trends. D. Immigration was entirely banned in the 20th century, preventing any impact. Answer. B. Immigration has played a significant role in diversifying and enriching British culture, economy and society. The UK has a long history of immigration contributing to its multicultural society and influencing various aspects of British life, from cuisine to public services. Question 40. Describe the impact of the British judicial system on international law. A. The British judicial system has had no influence on international law. B. It has contributed significantly to the development of common law, legal principles and international jurisprudence. C. The system has actively worked against the establishment of international law norms. D. It focuses solely on domestic matters, avoiding any involvement in international legal developments. Answer. B. It has contributed significantly to the development of common law, legal principles and international jurisprudence. The British judicial system with its rich legal traditions and jurisprudence, has had a profound impact on the development of legal systems worldwide, including international law. Question 41. Detail the significance of the Magna Carta in the development of democracy. A. It established the first parliamentary democracy. B. It was the first document to limit the power of the monarchy and lay the foundation for legal principles. C. It abolished the monarchy in favour of a republic. D. It declared all citizens should have the right to vote. Answer. B. It was the first document to limit the power of the monarchy and lay the foundation for legal principles. The Magna Carta is significant for introducing the idea that the monarchy's power was not absolute, 
paving the way for the development of constitutional law and democracy. Question 42. What were the main reasons behind the formation of the Bank of England in 1694? a. To finance military operations against France. b. To establish the first public library in London. c. To manage the personal wealth of the monarchy. d. To act as a central repository for national art collections. Answer. a. To finance military operations against France. The Bank of England was established to raise funds for King William Ida's war efforts against France, marking the beginning of central banking in England. Question 43. How did the British handle the transition of Hong Kong back to China in 1997? A. By granting Hong Kong full independence. B. Through the Sino-British Joint Declaration, ensuring a one-country, two-systems principle. C by refusing to relinquish control until forced by the United Nations. D. By selling Hong Kong to China in a financial deal. Answer. B. Through the Sino-British Joint Declaration, ensuring a one country, two systems principle. This agreement provided for the peaceful return of Hong Kong to Chinese sovereignty while aiming to preserve its economic and political systems for 50 years. Question 44. What was the impact of the Peasants' Revolt in 1381 on English feudalism? A. It led to the immediate abolition of serfdom. B. It reinforced the feudal system, making it more rigid. C. It had no significant impact on feudal practices. D. Although it did not end feudalism, it marked a significant challenge to feudal authority and led to gradual reforms. Answer. D. Although it did not end feudalism, it marked a significant challenge to feudal authority and led to gradual reforms. The revolt highlighted the growing discontent with feudal oppression and contributed to the long-term decline of feudalism in England. Question 45. Explain the significance of the toll puddle martyrs in labor history. A. They were the first to establish a minimum wage in England. B. They were early trade unionists, convicted for swearing oaths, becoming symbols of the labor movement. C. They led the first successful strike for a 40 hour workweek. D. They invented the concept of collective bargaining. Answer. B. They were early trade unionists, convicted for swearing oaths, becoming symbols of the labor movement. The toll puddle martyrs' sentencing and subsequent pardon in the 1830s highlighted the struggles of early trade unionists and galvanized support for workers' rights. Question 46. What contributions did British explorers make to global navigation and exploration? A. They focused primarily on exploring the interior of Africa. B. British explorers like James Cook played crucial roles in mapping the Pacific and discovering new lands. C. They invented the compass and the astrolabe. D. British explorers avoided oceanic voyages, concentrating on overland routes. Answer. B. British explorers like James Cook played crucial roles in mapping the Pacific and discovering new lands. The contributions of British explorers were instrumental in expanding our knowledge of the globe and establishing maritime routes. Question 47. How did the education acts throughout the 19th and 20th centuries transform British society? A. By making education less accessible to the working class. B. They established compulsory education, significantly increasing literacy rates and educational standards. C. They banned women and girls from receiving formal education. D. Education acts focused solely on higher education, neglecting primary and secondary schooling. Answer. B. They established compulsory education 
significantly increasing literacy rates and educational standards. The series of education acts transformed British society by making education compulsory for children, thereby improving literacy and contributing to social mobility. Question 48. Discuss the historical significance of the Chartist movement. A. It was a movement that successfully overthrew the British monarchy. B. A significant working-class movement demanding political reforms, including the right to vote. C. It focused on abolishing the education system. D. The movement aimed to restore feudal rights to land. Answer. B. A significant working-class movement demanding political reforms, including the right to vote. The Chartist movement was historically significant as it represented one of the first mass working-class demands for political reform and democratic rights in Britain. Question 49. What were the consequences of the British Agricultural Revolution? A. It led to a decrease in agricultural productivity. B. It caused a significant increase in urban poverty. C. It resulted in increased agricultural productivity and efficiency, contributing to population growth and urbanization. D. It had no impact on British society or the economy. Answer. C. It resulted in increased agricultural productivity and efficiency, contributing to population growth and urbanization. The British Agricultural Revolution introduced new farming techniques and machinery, leading to significant changes in land use, productivity, and societal structure. Question 50. Detail Britain's involvement in the transatlantic slave trade and its abolition. A. Britain had a marginal role and was the last country to abolish the slave trade. B. As a leading participant, Britain later became a prominent force in the abolition movement, culminating in the Slave Trade Act of 1807. C. Britain exclusively traded slaves within its empire, never engaging in transatlantic trade. D. The UK never officially participated in the slave trade and was the first to condemn it internationally. Answer. B. As a leading participant, Britain later became a prominent force in the abolition movement, culminating in the Slave Trade Act of 1807. Britain's significant role in the transatlantic slave trade was followed by a moral and political shift that led it to champion the cause of abolition. Question 51. How did the Glorious Revolution of 1688 impact the monarchy and parliament? A. It abolished the monarchy in favour of a republic. B. It reinforced the divine right of kings. C. It established parliament's supremacy over the monarchy and led to a constitutional monarchy. D. It had no significant impact on the balance of power. Answer. C. It established Parliament's supremacy over the monarchy and led to a constitutional monarchy. The Glorious Revolution marked a pivotal moment in British history by affirming parliamentary sovereignty and laying the foundation for constitutional monarchy. Question 52. What was the impact of the enclosures on the social and economic landscape of rural England? A. They led to widespread deforestation. B. They resulted in the commercialization of agriculture and displacement of peasant populations. C. They improved the living standards of rural peasants. D. They decreased agricultural productivity. Answer. B. They resulted in the commercialization of agriculture and displacement of peasant populations. The enclosures transformed the rural landscape by consolidating common lands into private holdings, leading to significant social and economic changes. Question 53. Explain the significance of the Battle of Waterloo for Britain and Europe. A. It marked the start of the British Empire's decline. B. 
It resulted in Napoleon's final defeat, ending his rule and restoring stability to Europe. C. It initiated the Hundred Years' War. D. It led to the independence of the American colonies. Answer. B. It resulted in Napoleon's final defeat, ending his rule and restoring stability to Europe. The Battle of Waterloo in 1815 was a decisive conflict that ended the Napoleonic Wars, securing British influence in Europe. Question 54. How did the Acts of Union affect the political landscape of Scotland and England? A. They dissolved the Scottish Parliament and integrated Scotland into England. B. They maintained Scotland's independence from England. C. They unified England and Scotland under a single parliament, forming the Kingdom of Great Britain. D. They established a federal system within the UK. Answer. C. They unified England and Scotland under a single parliament, forming the Kingdom of Great Britain. The Acts of Union 1707 were instrumental in creating a unified state, altering the political landscape by merging the parliaments and crowns of Scotland and England. Question 55. Discuss the implications of the Corn Laws and their repeal. A. The Corn Laws and their repeal had little effect on British agriculture and trade. B. They protected British agriculture but caused food prices to rise, leading to their repeal, which ushered in an era of free trade. C. Their repeal led to the immediate collapse of the British economy. D. The Corn Laws banned the import of corn, and their repeal lifted all trade restrictions with France. Answer. B. They protected British agriculture but caused food prices to rise, leading to their repeal, which ushered in an era of free trade. The Corn Laws were controversial tariffs that, once repealed in 1846, marked a significant shift towards free trade policies. Question 56. What role did Britain play in the establishment of the State of Israel? A. Britain opposed the creation of Israel and worked to prevent it. B. Through the Balfour Declaration and its mandate over Palestine, Britain played a key role in facilitating the conditions for establishing Israel. C. Britain played a neutral role, neither supporting nor opposing the establishment of Israel. D. It provided military support to Arab states against the establishment of Israel. Answer. B. Through the Balfour Declaration and its mandate over Palestine, Britain played a key role in facilitating the conditions for establishing Israel. The Balfour Declaration of 1917 expressed British support for a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine, influencing the eventual establishment of Israel. Question 57. Detail the influence of the British literary renaissance on global literature. A. It had minimal influence outside of England. B. It marked a period of decline in literary production and quality. C. It contributed significantly to the development of modern literary forms and themes, influencing writers worldwide. D. It focused exclusively on restoring classical Latin and Greek texts. Answer. C. It contributed significantly to the development of modern literary forms and themes, influencing writers worldwide. The British literary renaissance, with figures like Shakespeare, Milton and Marlowe, had a profound impact on literature by introducing innovative themes, styles and characterization. Question 58. How did the invention of the steam engine and the railway transform British industry and society? A. It isolated rural communities and decreased mobility. B. It led to a decline in the importance of trade and commerce. C. It revolutionized transportation and manufacturing, contributing to industrial growth and urbanization. D. It had little impact until the development of the automobile. 
Answer. C. It revolutionized transportation and manufacturing, contributing to industrial growth and urbanization. The steam engine and the development of railways were critical to the Industrial Revolution, drastically improving transportation and production methods. Question 59. What were the effects of the Great Reform Act of 1832 on British electoral politics? A. It abolished the electoral system. B. It restricted voting rights to a smaller, more elite segment of the population. C. It expanded the electoral franchise and reformed the distribution of parliamentary seats, making the electoral system more representative. D. It introduced universal suffrage for all citizens, regardless of property ownership. Answer. C. It expanded the electoral franchise and reformed the distribution of parliamentary seats, making the electoral system more representative. The Great Reform Act was a milestone in the democratization of British politics, addressing some of the most glaring inequities in the electoral system. Question 60. Describe the factors leading to the rise and fall of the British Empire. A. The Empire's expansion was driven solely by the search for new markets for tea. b. Key factors included industrialization, military innovation, and naval power, while its decline was influenced by decolonization movements and changing global dynamics. c. The empire fell because of a single catastrophic military defeat. d. The rise was attributed to the monarchy's divine right, and the fall was due to the adoption of democracy. Answer. B. Key factors included industrialization, military innovation, and naval power, while its decline was influenced by decolonization movements and changing global dynamics. The British Empire's growth into the largest empire in history was driven by economic, military, and political factors, with its decline marked by the pressures of World War II and the rise of independence movements. Question 61. How did the Falklands War affect UK-Argentina relations? A. It led to a long-term alliance between the two nations. B. Relations remained unchanged as a result of the conflict. C. The war resulted in heightened tensions and a brief conflict, but ultimately reinforced British sovereignty over the Falklands. D. It initiated a trade embargo by the UK against Argentina that lasts to this day. Answer. C. The war resulted in heightened tensions and a brief conflict, but ultimately reinforced British sovereignty over the Falklands. The Falklands War in 1982 was a significant moment in UK-Argentina relations leading to a military victory for the UK and reaffirming its control over the Falkland Islands. Question 62. What is the significance of the UK's legal contributions to international human rights law? A. The UK has played a minimal role in the development of international human rights law. B. UK legal principles form the basis of authoritarian legal systems globally. C. British legal traditions and jurisprudence have significantly influenced the establishment and evolution of international human rights standards. D. The UK's contributions have been limited to economic rights. Answer. C. British legal traditions and jurisprudence have significantly influenced the establishment and evolution of international human rights standards. The UK has been instrumental in shaping key aspects of international human rights law, drawing on its own legal traditions to contribute to global standards. Question 63. Discuss the impact of Margaret Thatcher's economic policies on the UK. A. They led to the nationalisation of key industries and services. B. Thatcher's policies, known as Thatcherism, included privatisation, deregulation, and changes to labour laws, significantly transforming the UK's economic landscape. C. 
the policies resulted in the UK adopting the euro. D. They eliminated poverty in the UK. Answer. B. Thatcher's policies, known as Thatcherism, included privatization, deregulation and changes to labor laws, significantly transforming the UK's economic landscape. Margaret Thatcher's tenure as Prime Minister was marked by substantial economic reforms that have lasting impacts on British society and the economy. Question 64. How has the UK's approach to national security changed in the 21st century? A. It has shifted towards a solely domestic focus, ignoring international threats. B. The UK has disbanded its national security apparatus. C. There has been an increased focus on cyber security, counter-terrorism, and international partnerships to address global threats. D. National security concerns have been deemed irrelevant in the modern era. Answer. C. There has been an increased focus on cyber security, counter-terrorism, and international partnerships to address global threats. The UK's national security strategy has evolved to address a broader range of threats, including those emerging in the digital domain and from international terrorism. Question 65. What were the cultural and social impacts of the swinging 60s in Britain? Hey, the decade was marked by a decline in cultural production and social conservatism. B. It saw significant social and cultural shifts, including the liberalisation of attitudes towards sex, fashion and music, influencing global trends. C. The swinging 60s had no noticeable impact on British culture or society. D. It was characterised by a return to Victorian values and norms. Answer. B. It saw significant social and cultural shifts, including the liberalisation of attitudes towards sex, fashion and music, influencing global trends. The swinging 60s were a transformative period in the UK, marked by youth-driven changes that challenged traditional norms and had a lasting influence on culture and society. Question 66. Detail the evolution and significance of the British Public Broadcasting Service, BBC. A. Founded to promote government propaganda, the BBC has remained a state-controlled entity. B. The BBC was established as a commercial network and has focused on entertainment over public service. C. Established in 1922, the BBC has played a pivotal role in developing public service broadcasting, setting standards for impartiality and quality in news and programming. D. The BBC started as an internet-only platform and remains limited to online content. Answer. C. Established in 1922, the BBC has played a pivotal role in developing public service broadcasting setting standards for impartiality and quality in news and programming. The British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, is recognised globally for its commitment to public service broadcasting, offering a wide range of services that inform, educate and entertain. Question 67. How did the British punk movement challenge societal norms? A by promoting traditional values and classical music. B. The movement was apolitical and focused solely on fashion. C. Through its music and aesthetic, punk challenged conventions, expressing dissatisfaction with societal issues and promoting individuality and anti-establishment views. D. It encouraged the adoption of corporate culture among youth. Answer. C. Through its music and aesthetic, Pump challenged conventions, expressing dissatisfaction with societal issues and promoting individuality and anti-establishment views. The punk movement in the UK was a cultural phenomenon that rejected mainstream values and offered a voice to youth disillusionment. Question 68. 
What factors contributed to the UK's decision to declare war on Germany in 1939? A. Economic competition and territorial disputes in Africa. B. The violation of Belgian neutrality by Germany as part of its invasion of Poland, prompting the UK to fulfill its treaty obligations. C. A preemptive strike strategy against the Soviet Union. D. Disagreements over colonial possessions in Asia. Answer B. The violation of Belgian neutrality by Germany as part of its invasion of Poland, prompting the UK to fulfill its treaty obligations. The UK declared war on Germany after Hitler's forces invaded Poland and breached Belgian neutrality, triggering the start of World War II in Europe due to existing alliances and commitments to uphold European stability. Question 69. Discuss the significance of the Anglo-Irish Treaty of 1921. A. It resulted in the unification of Ireland and Scotland. B. The treaty ended the Irish War of Independence, establishing the Irish Free State as a dominion of the British Empire while partitioning Ireland. C. It declared Ireland a British colony indefinitely. D. The treaty was primarily focused on trade agreements between Ireland and France. Answer. B. The treaty ended the Irish War of Independence, establishing the Irish Free State as a dominion of the British Empire while partitioning Ireland. The Anglo-Irish Treaty was a crucial moment in Irish history, leading to the establishment of the Irish Free State and setting the stage for future conflicts over Northern Ireland. Question 70. How has the UK's educational system evolved since the Education Act of 1944? A. The Act led to the immediate privatisation of all schools. B. It introduced compulsory education up to the age of 18, significantly expanding access to secondary education. C. Education after the age of 14 was made optional. D. The Education Act of 1944 had no significant impact on the UK's education system. Answer. B. It introduced compulsory education up to the age of 18, significantly expanding access to secondary education. The Education Act of 1944 also known as the Butler Act, was a landmark in the development of the British educational system, establishing the framework for free secondary education for all children and setting the stage for future educational reforms.